Mm, I don't want to say it. I thought uh, I thought we did a really good job offensively today. I'll start with the offense. Really, all weekend we, you know, nine or ten hits a game uh, for three days in a row off some some really good arms and different looks. Uh, we also had some a lot of balls hard. You know, both teams did, but um, I just felt like our bats were better. We fought. I was really proud of our offense today because. You know we're 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 down one, we're tied, and then you know we're down we're down four to one. It's it's looking pretty good for them, and then bang with two outs. I think we had maybe a walk, and then like four hits in a row or whatever it was, and it's hard to get two hits in a row. And uh, you know three's rare, but four is big time. And uh, actually, no, we had the lead, and uh, you know that was a few innings later. But it, it was just one of those games where. You just didn't know how it was going to go. I didn't know if it was going to be 14, 15, or, you know, I just thought it was going to be a high scoring game after the way I saw the ball flying. It just seemed like the air was thin, something going on. And, you know, the I think about the ball that Behave hit. I didn't know if it was going to get out of the park. I was just hoping it got over his head and it got out. And then the, the fly ball that Larson hit, I mean, he hit it pretty good. He got it up and he really spun it good. He back spun it. Uh, and it got out of the park, and you're kind of going, wow. And then I thought Stowball's the ball he hit out, he hit it really good. He had a lot of backspin on it, and it traveled. But we didn't know it was going to go. And uh, But the but the ball was flying today. So, uh, you know, really, Cody Frank came in and did an amazing job, got us out of that, I think, what was that, the fifth inning? And uh, I don't know, he threw – Four, four or five pitches and then, you know, got us through a couple more and just uh, slowed, slowed him down a little bit. And, uh, you know, then to have Hunter come in and his first, you know, the hit, first hitter he ever faces in college is Tommy White is one of the best hitters in the country. Uh, you got a tough situation. And uh, I thought he threw the ball pretty good. And, and so I'm excited about getting him back out there you know, probably next weekend. And then, uh, and then Will, you know, really wanted to finish the thing up. We were hoping that we only had to get, you know, go three outs with him. We had to go, I guess, four, but uh, really, really good job by the the pitching staff all weekend for the most part. And then the offense, uh, you know, and then we talk about fielding the ball, turning double plays, um, just a, a really good weekend all around, you know, good enough to, Win two out of three for sure and somehow find a way to win today and, and we'll take it. Yeah, Dave, you know, you, you bring Will in, bases are loaded. Bingham's already hit two home runs. He had a double the other night off Will. I think he also struck him out. But just uh, the way he handled that situation, getting out of that, that jam. Well, that's one reason we put him in there because he's older, he's been there, and really doesn't get rattled. And, uh, you know, he just came in there and kind of did what he does. And, uh you know, just excited to, for him. He's he's really having a good year for us, and he's been Mr. Reliable. And, uh, you know, we were – I didn't write his name on the board. I didn't write it on the lineup card. And when I went – and I always post a lineup card down by the locker room. When I went and got it right before we got stretch, his name just appeared on there because I guess he wrote it in there. So uh, I said something to Coach Hobb, and he said, yeah, he wrote it in there. And uh, so – you know, we just – we didn't want him doing much, and I guess he threw 24 pitches, and that was all he needed to throw right there. So, glad it worked out. I don't know if you got a good view on on the, the foul ball, the white hit in the ninth. I mean, it was so high, it was really hard to tell. But kind of what, what – did your heart skip a couple beats Of course there? it did. You know, you go from you – you know, the ball – if it's fair, you go from leading to being behind by a run, you know, at a minimum, you're down one. You get out of the inning, and then you got to we got to score one to stay, you know, to keep playing. But it kind of reminded me of the ball that Sousa hit the other day. We thought it went right over the top of the pole, or you know, right there. And then you know, but his was hit. White's was hit high, and the wind got a hold of it and just kept pushing it left. Um, you know, Sousa's the other night was just smoked and was kind of hooking, and that was a tough call too, unless she had a pole another sixty feet in the air, probably on both of them. But uh, yeah, we we couldn't tell, you know, and the umpire he he had the best view and he called a foul. Just kind of like he dodged a bullet there, kind of. Do what? Feel like he kind of dodged a bullet there. 
Well, you always feel like you dodge your bullets when you, when you know, you got these good hitters up and uh, even if you strike them out, you're still dodging them because you've got a two run lead and got two on and uh, they're, they got the probably the best right-handed hitter in the country up. So uh, yeah, you know, you, that's part of the game. You got to dodge them. That's why you got pitchers that, you know, do what they do. They, they figure out how to get outs when maybe some teams don't. That's how, that's how you survive some of these games. Ryder Helper just had the one hit, but he hit the ball hard a few different times. Just how good was that to see him take it, you know, carry his momentum, and how important could he be for you guys down the street? Oh, yeah. I thought Ryder swung the bat pretty good today, and then, you know, he also advanced a runner to third, hit a ball pretty good into the wind, into right center, um, just missed it, smoked one foul, but uh, and then hit, obviously hit that line drive to left, but uh, just a really – I thought he did a really good job of catching. Um, I don't think they attempted a steal on him today. Um, but, uh, yeah, when you, when you're not really noticing the catcher a lot, they're, they're doing a good job. Six through nine for you guys, I think scored five of the seven runs. And I just got to get that production from the bottom of the order. Well, you know, it starts with Edmondson. I mean, he got at least three hits that I remember. And, uh, you know, just looking at this, he had a walk too. So he was on four times and, uh, scored, scored what one time Wilms Meyer scored no, it was, and, you know, so it's just, uh, if the end of the order gets on and the top of the order gets it down a little bit, you're going to score some runs. And uh, we needed them today. Uh, but I, I go back to that. I guess it was the the fourth inning when we, we got all those hits in a row. We haven't done that this year. That was that was really good to see. I'm going to make a Brady start and uh, sending him back out there for that inning, just trying to, to eat one, or do you feel pretty good about, you know, where he was and if his uh, Yeah, his I stuff. mean, obviously he didn't have the command of his pitches like he's had. So uh, fortunate for us, you know, that Frank came in and just had great stuff. He had all three of his pitches work, and it looked like to us over there in the dugout. Uh, you know, Brady wasn't super sharp, but he, he didn't really walk people, uh, but he was behind in the count a lot. I think he hit a batter to lead off the inning. Um, you know, he, he had a couple of pitches that if he could get them back, he would that, you know, the two of them left the park. He was, he was ahead in the count or he just didn't locate it where he wanted it and threw it for a strike, but it was kind of more in the middle of the plate. And those are things that he cleans that up. He, he, he stays in the game for a while. And Dave, whether it be offensively or defensively, how much do you think Stovall has transformed this team over the last few weeks? Well, I mean, we knew we knew it. We knew it was going to happen when he came back. It was going to just solidify our defense. Um, another left-handed hitter, maybe a guy that could hit lead off. If not, we're going to him two hole, three hole. Uh, and I think he likes leading off. Uh, you know, he'll take a walk, but he'll also hit you a home run every now and then. And he's having a, you know, you got to think about this. He's hitting three sixty or something. And he's doing it all against the league. He didn't get any of them cookie games. You know, when the wind's blowing out 30 miles an hour and the wind's out of the north and we're playing somebody that has run out of pitching and we're, we're scoring 10, 12, 15 runs. I mean, he he pretty much has to do it and doing it against the SEC. So uh, and he's you know, I, I looked at his numbers yesterday. I think he what do you have, like 40 at bats now or 35, 40 going into today. And if that. And so when his bats pick up, he's going to get even more comfortable. And uh, but, yeah, I think he's. He's really – he's just brought a spark to our lineup. He's brought a spark to our middle infield. And, you know, sometimes that's just – that's what you need. You need one more guy. You were complimentary of Edmondson's base running last night, and then he had that sequence during the, the, the beginning for you today. I mean, just how would you evaluate how that went? Well, uh, it went really well, obviously. Um, you know, the beginning, I think he shot that ball to right field and – he hit it hard, let it get real deep, and smoked it. The four hole, four three hole over there, and I don't know. Just had a just had a really good day for us, and uh, you know that's what he can do. You know he he's he can he can help us. He can help us. You know we've been he, at a minimum we can you know we can platoon people and left. We can you know just go with the hot bat. You know because I think our rights can hit right and our lefts can hit left, but. Uh, Sometimes we just look at the matchups and what they do against the our type of right or left, and we'll go with that unless somebody just gets hot and takes that job for a while. But uh, that that was really good to see. And you know, uh, 
just having the the guys at the end of the order, it's just as important as the top to me. It's the second inning, the third inning, whatever it is, and you got to roll it over, get back to the top. You got runners on base. That's when you can do some damage. And I'm sure you've noticed this, but it seems like in, in so many of your games this year, a team will go up, and then it's either that next half inning or the inning after that. You're you're got you never stay down for very long. Yeah. What what's that say about the team? That just says that you know they respond number one, and they uh, they don't let. I don't know. You know, that's a sign of a good team. When you come back like that, a sign of a good team, you don't know, roll over. You're down four to one today, you know, and lefties cruising a little bit out there. And you already won the first two games. We just kept fighting. You know, we wanted to win the game. And like I said, I talked, that's one of the things I talked about. I don't talk to them very long after the game. Can't hear out there anyway. It's loud, and windy, and people are screaming. So I just kind of say a few things and get out of there. But one of the things I said was I was really proud of the way they, you know, they they got down three runs and they just came in and took care of business. You know, I just wanted to score one. I just want to flip the momentum a little bit. We ended up getting four hits in an inning in a row. So, uh, yeah, we've done that a few times this year. It's been it's been really, really good feeling in the dugout. Sometimes if you bring a guy back from an injury, you kind of want him or a pitcher to be maybe a midweek game or yeah. something like that. But you threw Dietz into the fire against Tommy White. Just was that just yeah. kind of wanting to see what the freshman could do in a spot like that? Well, not necessarily. Uh, you know, we wanted him to start an inning. We almost brought him in a couple innings earlier, but, you know, we we couldn't take Frank out because he was throwing so good. You know, we thought Frank would get that, get us through that inning, maybe give us one more. But his stuff was so good, he only thrown a few pitches, it seemed like, after four outs and uh, went back out again. Uh, but that was kind of our plan is to bring him in off of off Cody. But, um, you know, it just happened to be the eighth. We had a two-run lead, and they're at the top of the order. And, White was hitting leadoff today, and uh, it was. Uh, I thought he threw the ball pretty good, uh, honestly. And because you know, he's, I don't know what his velocity was 92, 93, but there's a lot more in there, and there'll be more coming. So, uh, you know, we if we waited not to throw him this weekend, or we didn't get him in today, and we throw him on Tuesday, then we won't probably won't have him for the weekend. So, we, we had to get him in today, and you know, he got a double play ball, took a bad hop. I got to give Aloy credit, man. That ball came up on him. He scrambled and wheeled him through a strike. That was big. And that was – that the way he played that ball, I mean, he did just say, oh, crap, I missed the ball. Man, he attacked it and went and got it. That's kind of our whole our whole mentality of our team, you know. And, uh, yeah, I thought he threw good. But, that, yeah, we we just had to get him out there this weekend. And we, we, we had the lead and we had two innings left. So we thought eighth probably better than the ninth. And I'm, I'm glad it worked out, you know, and he'll get better. He's probably thinking, oh, I didn't throw very good. We thought he threw pretty good. Spring what? Maybe not the best weekend at the plate, but had some big plays in the field, including that last one there today. Yeah, you, you look at his defense this weekend, it was amazing. You know, you start with that double play ball that they turned, I think, on a Thursday night. Chopper, he he leads Peyton. Where Peyton could just field it and flip it. He didn't have to go the wrong way. Today, that ground ball – kind of down the line, he backhands it. He threw the ball where Peyton could kind of slide to the ball and just kind of change it over first base without having to go back and catch it and uh, fielded everything, made a made a good throw on that last play. I mean, he had a base runner in his way too, and uh, I thought he did a good job. So, And he took some walks. And uh, even, even the safety he laid down yesterday, I thought it was a great bunt. Like I said last night, I should have taken it off. I knew they were going to run that play after the first pitch, but I thought, you know, he, he's such a good bunter. He's going to put it right where we want, and they're not going to do it and give the first baseman credit. He did it. But he did everything. He does everything we ask him to. And then with McIntyre, you know, the the big names, Hagan Smith, Brady Tiger, Mason Molina, they get a lot of the attention, but – He's a McIntyre's a guy who, like you said, you know, he wanted to pitch today, put his name on there. Just what do you think about him? Well, you know, he, he's kind of like, uh, kind of like a, I don't know how it is. It, it's like he's an insurance, you know, you just know you can go to that guy. I just, he's, he's always, he's always ready to pitch. He wants to pitch. He's like rubber arm, never bothers him, uh, you know. It's it's kind of like having a security blanket in a way, you know. It's uh every every team that's good has a guy like that in the bullpen, man, that's just probably gonna throw you're gonna get a lot of appearances. And uh 
you know, it's not going to go good every time, but he gives you everything he's got, and that's all you can ask. Yeah, that's the overall on the weekend. I thought it was great. We used a lot of people. We had a couple more guys ready to roll. I mean, you know, we had a couple guys kind of appear uh, that, you know, you look at Christian Fouts coming in, throwing 99 miles an hour with a sinker now, and he threw a splitty. It was just filthy. Struck the guy out, I think, to lead off the second inning. Got a little confidence throwing strikes. You know, you could throw that hard velocity off this lefty or whatever you want to do, and it's just a different look. So uh, it's really, really good. I feel like our, our, our bullpen's getting deeper, and, uh, you know, we're just playing. And then LSU, I mean, they, they don't get swept very often. And obviously, historically, they have a big lead going in the series going back to the 60s or whatever. But you guys are now, I think, you've beaten them 12 out of 16, so 12 and 4. But what do you think about sweeping them, how tough that is, and, and then the fact you guys have kind of had their number here the last few years? I mean, sweeping anybody's tough. It's hard, you know, you beat a team like LSU that's got those big bangers in the middle of that lineup. I mean, you know, they got their – Really, their top five hitters can hit the ball out about any time. And, uh, you know, they beat Florida last weekend, I think, game one pretty handily and then had a lead going into the eighth, two-run lead. Florida scored one in the eighth and one in the ninth and beat them in extra innings and then got them in the last day and then, you know, came in here. So uh, I know that they're going to play a lot better. They're going to start – things will start going their way. It's just like I tell our guys every – Every weekend, you get when you get a W, you, you win it because it's hard to win, and it can turn around on you if you start thinking you're better than you are. Or it's easy. That's when you start losing. So, um, I think the guys keep each other grounded, and I try to keep them grounded. Obviously, I think we have a really good team, and they're solid. I think they're, they're kind of starting to get to know each other a lot more, and what to expect, and how to act, and you know how to go about their business on the road. It's tough winning on the road, and that's that's how you win. Um, every, there's a lot of expectation from each other, a lot of competition from each other, and uh, but you know LSU's a good team. They're going to get their W's. Well, a guy writes his name on the line card. I'm assuming everybody doesn't get to do that. Is that a deal where you maybe cut Will some slack because he's an older guy and done so much stuff for you? Well, if he wasn't on the 27 man roster, I wouldn't want him writing his name on the lineup card. <laughs> but I really don't have a problem with it, you know. Doesn't mean I got to play them or put them in. I don't. I'm not going to get mad at anybody for doing that if they're on the 27 man. If they weren't on the 27 man, probably wouldn't get mad at them there. I might tell them not to do it. They're just trying to tell me they won't be on the 27 man. But they got to, you know, that's that. But now Mac Mac deserves a lot of respect, and you know, if it was something else, I'd let him slide too. Basically, the 27 man. How hard is it to put that together right it's now? Real hard. You know, because you take you got to take a hit or two off to get a another pitcher or two on, you know, we left off a couple of good pitchers, but they're pitching Tuesday, but they're good enough to be on the 27 man. So, you know, it's, uh, they just got to understand. We just, we're playing, they're pitching. They've got a chance. They can pitch on Tuesday and do well. And then we're saying, we got to use that guy, the pen on Sunday. We got to have him for Sunday or it's, it's uh, not, I don't know. I like it. The TV replay didn't have a good look at that. Tommy White's fly ball there in the ninth. Uh, from your vantage point, how close was it? Super close. Um, just like, you know, Sousa's ball, in my opinion. It was, you know, Sousa had the first – had probably had the best look, and he thought it was fair. Bobby thought it went over the top of the – I'm not sure their third base coach thought that ball was fair. The ball was hit high, and how are you going to overturn that? I mean, if he called it fair and I asked him to look at it, it's not changing. I mean, I would be shocked unless you were at like, you know, maybe maybe you were in Omaha when there's 16 cameras and they got three different cameras going at the same time to figure out really where was that ball at this time when it hit that pole. Yeah, it was it was close, obviously, uh, but but it but it was called foul and you know maybe it was a break for us, but probably foul. Any. You know, last week you guys were up, you know, won the first two games and didn't complete the sweep. Was there any lessons from from last weekend that maybe the team was able to carry over? Or yeah. if not, just, you know, how much of a motivation was it to kind of get the job done this weekend? Oh, I'm sure that they all were, you know, went back and thought a little bit about last week. You know, you didn't want to – we talked about it after the game, so I don't want to talk about it today. Like, in the eighth inning, I didn't want to 
going into the eight, the top of the eight. I didn't want to say, hey, we got a two run lead. Remember, this game's not over. Remember what happened last week? I don't want to say that, but they know. Yeah, you got to finish the game. And, you know, it's you get to the end of the game on Sunday, and you, usually teams are throwing pitchers for the second time. And uh, you're just hoping they can, you know, maybe they hit it at you, kind of like it ended, you know. But we had a lot of balls hard, too, that were right at people this weekend. And I thought our offense, again, I'm going to talk about them. I thought they did a great job, man. They got pitch count up. At, every starter for them, got, we got their pitch count up quick. And, uh, you know, they used seven pitchers in one game. And that probably made them wonder if they were going to be able to use those guys again. So great job all the way around. It was definitely a team sweep. It wasn't like pitching carried us or the hitting was it. It was everybody. I go. That's okay. Good.